and only on six tonight. You saw it right here during Hurricane Adalia as it ripped through the Big Bend area. The power stayed on longer than most people anticipated against all odds. So how is that possible? And will that happen here during our next storm? New Six's Eric Von Anken was there riding out the Category 3 storm last week and saw it firsthand. So Eric is live in Winter Park with the answers to those questions. Eric. And Ginger, that was eye opening. You know, when your lights flicker just for a second during any major or even a minor storm, but yet the power stays on, that's not a problem. That's actually a solution that our power companies have been working on for decades. Just in this press conference. Hold on a second. It happened once live on camera when we were in North Florida last week, riding out Hurricane Idalia, and then again and again. That behind me is the third transformer to blow here. But each time the power came back on. I don't know if you saw the lights went out for a split second. They are back on. Here in Central Florida, Duke Energy calls it self-healing technology and has been installing the upgrades at poles across Central Florida like this for almost two decades. This is video sent to us by Duke. So it works very similar to your GPS in your car where you're going along on your path and your uh, GPS notices a, a crash above and actually reroutes you uh, a different path. And so that's exactly what happens with self-healing technology. Sensors connected by cell service detect the outage, isolate it, and then the systems at substations reroute power through the lines that are still intact in seconds. I can tell you here in Florida that uh, we're at currently 60% of our Duke Energy Florida customers serve by self-healing technology with the goal of having 80% over the next few years. FPL, which serves Brevard, Flagler, Volusia, and also Seminole, has been upgrading its grid against storms since 2006, improving reliability by 41% since then, according to FPL, which includes strengthening power lines and poles and trimming back thousands of miles of trees along power lines. Now, if you're seeing yourself right about now, yes, and I've been paying for all of this. My bills lately, my electrical bills have been skyrocketing. We hear you, and I asked Duke about that. Specifically, are your bills going to continue to rise because of this? I'll get into that part of the story when I see again coming up at 5. We're now live in Winter Park. Eric Von Aken getting results. News 6.